Hello guys, uh, welcome to part 3 of this Mega Drive mod series. So today we're going to be doing the language mod. So let's open up our Mega Drive. First we're going to mount the switch and then just take a look at what we're going to do. So let's get cracking. Just got to be careful because of the, obviously we've already got the uh, audio mod here so we've got to be careful of the wiring. Just make sure it doesn't get pulled and you accidentally pull any cabling out or anything. Okay. We're going to take our uh, single pole double throw switch and we're going to mount this in this hole next to the audio mod like so. Okay, so there's our switch mounted. I'll tighten it up later, we'll just, just get it in there for now. So what we need to do is this area here, there are some pins here and they're JP1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we need to solder some wires to this and we need to remove this capacitor. Um, I've looked on the internet and no one seems to really know what this capacitor does. Some Mega Drives have this capacitor, other Mega Drives don't and, and usually, you know, from what I've read, people have some trouble when uh, they leave the capacitor on. Sometimes you get some weird hybrid uh, region stuff going on, so we're just going to remove it for the, sa for the safety, uh, so we'd have to come back and remove it if we get any problems. So we're just going to remove it, it's not needed. So yeah, we'll zoom into this area and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about what all the pins are. Okay guys, so what we've got here is four jumpers and we're basically going to wire three cables to this switch up the back here. So basically we, we've got to remove this capacitor first, but let's just tell, let me just tell you what these uh, jumpers are. So JP3 is PAL, JP4 is NTSC, JP2 is English language and JP1 is Japanese. So we basically want to solder a wire to this this point here and this point here and those will go to either, either end of the switch and then we want to we want a wire from this point which will be the ground and that will go to the center of the switch so at the moment this system is in power so there's a trace here between these two which makes it English and obviously a trace here for power what we have to actually do is we have to actually cut these traces and when you cut these traces the machine will actually the so if you if you cut those tra traces and turn the machine on, it will actually be um, a, a, like you think it's a Jap uh, US Mega Drive. It'll, it, it for some reason with no jumpers connected, Mega Drives default to um, 60 hertz English. So if you want a 60 hertz English machine uh, and you don't care about changing to Japanese or power or anything like that, you can cut those traces and you don't even have to worry about a switch. So um, that, that's just a little uh, little guide for you there, just a little trick. Um, okay, so first thing we need to do really is we need to get rid of this capacitor and then we need to cut these traces. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so we need to desolder. That legs in deep. Still in. Okay, I think we got that leg. There we go, that leg's free. It's actually in quite deep. I've not, see, I've not taken one of these capacitors out yet, so. I didn't know how deep the legs actually go. That's one side done. Okay, I need to get this side. There we go, easy peasy. Right, next thing we need to do 
is we need to take a decent knife, like a, it's sort of a standard blade or a scalpel blade of some description. And basically what I'm gonna do is just gently carve these uh, traces here. Be careful not to uh, not to go too high because they're obviously tracks further up on the board and the last thing you want to do is cut one of them so we just want to cut these ones here you'll be able to see if you look closely you'll be able to see some copper there and you, as long as you can see the copper coming away There we go, I think that one's done. And we need to do this one. Okay, I think that's done. Let's just take a closer look here, quickly. Right, you can kind of see there, you can see the copper coming through there on the two cuts. Now what you should do at this point is you should plug your, uh, your Mega Drive in and just make sure it's coming out in 60 hertz. Okay, take a game like Sonic because obviously Sonic in PAL sounds quite slow. And when you play in 60 hertz, the music speeds up and everything. So the first thing you want to do is check to make sure that that's uh, definitely in 60 hertz uh, English and then you're good to go. So that's what I'll do now. I'll quickly uh, check to make sure everything's good and then uh, we'll come back and carry on. Okay guys, so we're all good. Mega Drive was uh, output in 60 hertz. So next we need to um, solder these points up a bit so there's a bit more solder on them. I'm only going to solder up the points I need. Um, not going to do every single one of them. So we want JP3. Yeah. JP3. JP1. And then the ground over here. Okay, so if we look closely, you should, you should be able to see the solder. Two points on JP3, and then the one point on JP1 there. So that's all we need. So now let's solder the wires on. So we're gonna start with uh, JP1, and I'm gonna use a purple wire for that, simply because the Japanese Mega Drive has a purple top to it. That's my logic, so. Here we go, there's our, there's our Japanese signal. <clears throat> then we'll do our ground, and our ground wire will go here. Let's get our ground wire in here. There's our ground wire. And then last but not least, our power wire, should you want to use power. Uh, So there you can see um, 
JP1 has the purple wire for the Japanese language. JP3 carries the power signal and then we've got the ground wire. So now we're gonna turn to the switch side of things and then uh, put the cables in the right places. So uh, let's do that next. Right, okay guys, I do apologize. There's fireworks going off outside. I don't know why. But anyway, um, what we need to do next, um, we need to solder up these points um, and we're gonna bung our white cable here, our black cable here, and our purple cable here. So that basically means that if the switch is down, so that's the down position, so that's up, because obviously the, the case is upside up the wrong way around. So if that's down, that means it will make connection with these two points, yeah? These two points. So we want to, we want that, I want down to be the stock for this, this console, so I want it to be power. So we're gonna put the white cable here, black cable here, and purple cable here. So when the switch is up, that's Japanese. And in the middle, it'd be US. So let's do that now. So it's kind of difficult to show you guys because I don't really have a good place. It's kind of difficult to show you guys this. So but basically, I'm just gonna solder up these joints. That's it, there we go, right. So that's our joint soldered. So I don't know if you can see that, we've got some, we've got some solder on those joints now. Let's get these cables where they need to go. So, we'll start with white because that's at the bottom and that's the most difficult one to do without Because uh, we, you know, if you do the one at the bottom, then you haven't got wires getting in your way then, so. Oh, shit. That looks like that's done. I should double check that. Yep, that's in. Uh, so then we want black. Center. We're gonna have a black cable. Actually, I maybe need to just trim a little bit of that off because it's quite it's quite long. Let me just trim that second. A little bit too much wire showing there. That's a bit better, right. There's the black one done. And now for our Japanese one. Third and final connection. There we go. So there you go, guys. Um, there you see our three cables connected to the switch. So all we need to do now is put it all back together and uh, give it a quick test and make sure it's switching appropriately. So let's do that now. Okay guys, so we're going to give our Mega Drive a quick test using Streets of Rage, the PAL version. This game is really good because you can change the region as the text rolls up the screen. You can see it changed to Japanese. So let's get uh, this in here. Uh, we're going to set our switch to the default position, which will be 50 hertz for this machine. And there we see 
obviously we've got borders at the top and at the bottom here and then our text is in English there so you can see our English text now if we change the region to US we should lose the borders there you go borders lost and then finally when we set it to Japanese which I've just done now you should see that the Japanese text will start rolling up the screen and there it is so that is it guys we got our Mega Drive nice nice working with the region mod there um, so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching I um, hope this video helped you out and uh, stay tuned for the next video which will be the overclock mod now that's a really good mod so uh, catch you then guys thanks very much